Hi there and welcome to this free video training that I've put together on simple steps uh, to start your soccer coaching business this weekend. My name is Ars Sasikuma. Super excited to bring you this uh, free video training. Thank you for opting in. Uh, hopefully I can bring you uh, a lot of value through this video. Let's uh, jump straight into it. Uh, who am I? Why am I qualified to give you this uh, training? So let me just talk a little bit about myself so that uh, we can set up the, the context of this uh, training. As a former Singapore international, I played professional football for over 12 years, played uh, six years for, for Singapore, 35 caps, played in multiple tournaments and actually scored one goal that gave us the first ever international trophy back in 1998. And upon retirement, I started my first sports business venture. It was a soccer school. I started with um, four kids on day one and eventually scaled it up to 240 kids. Uh, with a 100k sponsorship from a local pizza company. So it went on really, really well after a poor start, but um, all of the things that I am actually sharing with you is through trial and error. So hopefully I can package all my learnings and add some values there. So, since um, selling off the sports, uh, obviously with my soccer school, I went on to start a sports marketing agency called Raycut Global in Singapore and started with just myself, eventually became a 40-man agency across Southeast Asia. And in during this process, I met some really um, interesting people. Um, also worked with Asian Football Confederation, went out to FIFA to meet with them. Also won an entrepreneurial award for um, being a footballer who transitioned well into being a business owner. And in 2015, end of 2015, 16, I sold my business to a big uh, Japanese conglomerate. These days, I inspire other uh, professional athletes, uh, ex-athletes, anybody who wants to get into sports business on how to set up your business. So right now, I want to give you steps to, getting, to get going this weekend. So first of all, I'd like to teach you how to identify the niche. I think we'll talk about that. Secondly, uh, confirm a location for your session which is very important. Thirdly, we'll be covering uh, how to create social media posts. Uh, fourth, uh, find a local Facebook uh, group to post. Um, get on the parents, um, make sure that they get on a call with you. And let's break that down, identifying the niche. So if you want to get into coaching, you must be very clear on who do you want to serve. And you can't be a hero for everybody, so end up uh, you are a hero to none. So make sure that you zoom in uh, on your niche. Who, who do you want to train? Is it boys or girls? Do you want to do um, group or personal coaching? Uh, decide if it's a one-on-one -on -one session or do you want to do a group session? Um, my suggestion is if you're just starting off, start with a group. Uh, that gives you a bit of scale and gives you a bit of opportunity to do, work with a larger group. Age group, uh, do you want to work with under eights, under tens, or you want to go even uh, lower, under six? And anything under six is basically babysitting, so you want to be quite careful on how you commit to that level. Um, you need a lot of patience. You need uh, perhaps um, a real understanding on how to handle children at their age. So you can also niche down by coaching by position. So if you happen to be a goalkeeper, um, very popular for goalkeepers to have goalkeeper camps. Or if it's a striker only training, so you can do a striker or a defender or a midfield. So you can decide depending on where you want to niche down and be a specialist in. I suggest in the start, uh, go a little bit wider. But uh, as you move along, you can have other products within your services uh, by niching down into positions. So location for your session is very, very important. It's crucial. I've seen a lot of people make mistakes, including myself. Uh, make sure that you get that uh, location locked down first before you start announcing it. Make sure it's safe and secure. Uh, the pitch is uh, fairly decent, um, they don't have to be top class facilities, but make sure that it's safe and there's no construction going on, there's no potholes on the field, so that the kids can actually train safely and you can put on a really good session. Uh, make sure it's easy accessibility because that will in long term help you out, uh, make sure that people are able to get to you. Most times than not, uh, the mothers usually end up driving kids to sessions, so you want to make sure that there's enough parking or at least parking that is uh, within where you are looking to um, locate your session. 
lighting or other basic effects. So if you are looking to uh, do a session in the evening, so be sure that there's ample lighting. You don't want to be coaching in the dark. You don't want to create an environment where the kids can't see you, they can't see the ball, then it becomes a really um, horrible experience for them. It does sound a little bit basic and even uh, something that you know anybody can use logic to do it, but I've also seen people make that kind of mistake. So don't get into that. Make sure that you take no chance, especially with the sunset in different parts of the world. You want to be sure about that. So how do you get started? So where do you now go and scout for the kids? You have got your location set up. You know exactly who you're going to train. And one of the things that I didn't cover earlier is you are going to do that session as a free uh, session. So it's nothing um, to be paid because people don't know you. You don't want to be charging anybody for uh, the start because you need to show some value. You need to really live with value. So this session you're going to put on is completely free. I'll tell you and teach you later on in this training video on how you're going to monetize that group that comes later. But for this video alone, um, just keep in mind that anything you're doing here is for free you're trying to drag people through to the system so if you're going to be creating a free account on canva.com let me uh, take you to canva.com to give you a better idea um, so this is canva.com so if you go into canva.com you can actually see that there are some already designed um, graphics here i've done a few here already myself um, let me show you on one of the stuff that Actually, you've probably seen and clicked through to be on this training. It's very, very easy to use. As you can see, there are already templates here. All you need to do is just sign up for an account. Uh, you can easily um, find a image of this little boy or any other things that you want to use. Uh, if you, there are other resources that I probably will link on this video as well. So you can go there. Everything I'm suggesting to you is free. So there's no cost involved. So once you get here, um, create, so you can actually change um, the fonts, uh, the colors, and whatever you want. I'll leave it to you. Uh, this is no training about graphic design, but this training is basically about how you create this post. So as soon as you do that, you go ahead and download it. Okay, download this. I already have this, so I don't want to be doing it. All right, so... Let me get back to the training. So this is how simple it is to create a graphic for your post. And, and the next thing you do is drop and change the graphic, like I said uh, earlier on, on how to do it. You can also prepare a few different versions. Um, it's always useful if you're going into multiple groups, you don't want to be posting the same thing. So you want to create different versions just to vary it up. Okay, the next important thing is that you're going to start looking for local Facebook groups, right? Search for local groups. I've actually just pulled up something here so that I can share with you. So what I've done for this example is I've basically put in here London Parents Group. So it could be anywhere in the world you are. Uh, just type in the local area where you are. It could be your your town, your city, uh, wherever you, you, you live. And for this... Um, example purpose I've just gone to London parents group so there's one I, I like to go to parents group because that's where the moms and dads hang out so it's, it's really the people that you're targeting so if you click on here let's have a look at what happens here so um, there are some pages that you can't post so you might want to uh, look for groups that, that allows you to post your message Right, so um, that's what you would like to do. So I will leave this with you. You you can um, look at um, a couple of them. Let's have a look at this one. So it says sign up. So uh, sometimes you just have to simply join the group or sign up and they will allow you to post uh, stuff. There are some platforms that don't allow you to post anything that is of sales nature. So. All the time you want to be adding value so what you're really doing now is giving away free football clinics that's our value so anyone any group admin 90 percent of the time they should allow you to post that so let's come back to the presentation so 
first of all, like I've already taught you how to look for the local groups, join the groups, uh, post the graphics that you've already done on Canva.com. And another simple thing that people tend to, to forget, uh, remember to leave your name and number so that there's very clear call to action so somebody can actually get in touch with you. And I'll tell you the reason why. Next is you must get on a call with the parents as soon as they um, signal any intention. So every time you get an inquiry or a sign up, ensure that you contact the parents and set up a time to call them. Okay, so during the call, um, it's very important that you are sitting in a quiet area, you have a pen and paper, find out the child's name, age, um, of course, if it's a boy or a girl, and ensure that you find out a little bit more about their playing background. So get to the parents, find out why um, and how you like to see uh, that kid benefit from the pre-coaching, and, and, and you're making sure that you have a database of all the information about the kids, which I'll obviously explain to you why that is really important later on. So write down the parents, uh, how the parents, uh, what they describe their child's ability and it will be useful later and in later trainings I will tell you exactly how to go about um, using the findings from the parents and turning that into a sales pitch later. Alright, so that is uh, something very simple, uh, very actionable. I didn't want to give you too much uh, that I overwhelm you. So for this first training video, these are the steps that you can go ahead and execute. I will put all the resources that I've mentioned in this video on the description of this video so you can have all the uh, opportunities to go there and explore yourself. Please go ahead and execute, which is the most important thing. Do not overthink anything. Try and iterate later and let me know how you go. Thank you so much for staying with me this long. and. I wish you all the best and if you run into any challenges, just send me a DM. Thank you.